Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I hope that you are all well. So today I am upstairs in the blue room or in the master bedroom. Still no furniture as you can see which means I've got lots of space to do a little unboxing with you today. So I've been shopping guys. I bought a new lampshade from Next to actually go up in this room. At the moment we've got a crystal lampshade which is very nice but I think it will suit the dressing room a little bit better and I was going for more of a rustic kind of feel for this room so I think this will um, look better in here. So I will unbox that with you in a moment and then I've got a big old a box here from Cowshed Interiors. Now, I actually only ordered three things from here, one of them being a lamp that I was hoping would be the right size to go on the bedside table in here. Now, looking at the size of the box, I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna be a bit too big, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna love it either way, so I'll probably make use of it somewhere in the house. Anyway, I'm rambling, so let's get on with the little unboxing of the next one to begin with, and we will see, oh, I've got my knife out, I don't need it for this one, we will see what's in here. I'm hoping I like this one, because I've thrown away the um, outside packaging by accident, so I'm very much hoping that it is nice. So that is the fittings and instructions in there, I will leave those for my lovely husband to look at. And, right, let's have a little look at the lamp. Oh, oh, I think I'm gonna like it. Okay, oh, so, um, hold on, what have we got to do here? Take that out. Okay, so, this is the lamp. Oh, I love it. That is gonna look gorgeous, actually, I'm really, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. It's really going to look nice. If you look at it against the blue there, that's going to look fab. Oh, yes, I am beyond pleased with this. And it's going to look so much better in this room than the um, current lampshade that we've got. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. Well done, next. I love it. Right, okay, so first unboxing is a success. I'm just going to leave that there so that I don't ruin it and just push it to one side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's have a little look in my cowshed interiors box. So I've come with a trusty knife. Let's see if we can get that undone in a while. The lovely. Okay. Oh God, it's such a big box. Okay, we'll pop that down there. Right. Well, there is a lot of paper. My recycling bin is already so full. There's going to be even more in it. Okay, so I've got a few different boxes. I can see this is the shade for the lamp. Okay, looking by the size of that shade, it's going to be huge. All right, let's have a little look. This looks like it's the next size box. What does it say on here? No, that's my shell. My God, it's so heavy. Was not expecting that to be as heavy. What is this? This hasn't got anything written on it. And this is uh, antique. Well, oh, this is my lamp base. Okay, five minutes later and a whole bunch of mess later, we are in. And it is beautiful. I've just balanced the shade on top because I don't want to screw it all in without the bulb and bits but oh it is gorgeous. I love the kind of aged effect and the antique effect down here and that it's not perfect. It's just yeah a little bit rustic and a little bit lovely and again I just think it's going to look so nice in here when the lampshade is straight on there. It's going to look gorgeous. Oh I love it. Is it too big? Is that too big for a bedside table? What do you think? Comment down below what you think. I really, really hope it's not. Um, they're quite big, our bedside tables. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about it, but I do love it. And I do think that I will keep it and I will find somewhere in the house for it because it's so beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, on to the next box from Cowshed Interiors. And this one's a nice light box, so we shall see what is in here. 
as well. You will see. I know what's in here. So it is an artichoke ornament. Now I either want to put this in the kitchen on the windowsill with my apple and pear that I've got there already, or I actually thought that it looked nice, kind of styled up with the lamp, possibly. I thought that might look quite nice, kind of styled up together as well. So yeah, but if not, it will look lovely in the kitchen as well. So I love this lamp so much. So yeah, I'm pleased with that, that's nice. It's nice and light as well. I was expecting it to be super heavy. So yeah, I think that will look lovely styled up. And then our third and final box is a little bit heavier actually. And I thought that it wouldn't be. Right, it says on here, open with care. So I'm gonna try and do that. It says bang. Right. Oh, okay, it's got polystyrene around it, that's fine. That's all right. Yeah, I do like it a lot, but it is large, much larger than what I thought. I actually think it's too big. I don't think I've got anywhere in the house to put that, so that's a shame. I might have to return that one, but it is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, this is my, my shell that is massive and just a little bit too big really for what I'm after. This most likely, well no it is my own fault, I really didn't look at the dimensions on the website, I just thought it would be like a shell size. Um, I was literally expecting it to be like this and then when I picked it up and it was so heavy I was like what? Why is it so heavy? And it's because it's massive. That would be why it's so heavy. So, okay. Well, I think I, I love it, but I think I will probably be returning the shell. I'll be keeping the artichoke. I'll be keeping, hopefully, the lamp. I just need to work out where it can go, if it can go on a bedside table or not. I just love it. I just love the look of it. I think it's beautiful. Um, and the, yes, the lampshade from Next was a great success. So, yeah, I think overall that was quite a successful little shopping trip. I will be returning the shell, um, but the rest of it, I think hopefully will be looking lovely in my new home. Okay, so this is the artichoke styled up on my kitchen windowsill. I think it looks really cute there. I'm really pleased with that actually. And I think it goes really nicely with my apple and pear there. And then you've got my artichoke on the other side of my beautiful flowers. So I'm really chuffed with that. I think it looks really, really good. Yeah, most definitely. I think that's gonna be a keeper. Hi guys, so I am back in the blue room this morning and I just wanted to give you a quick update because Jamie's popped the next lampshade up and I just wanted to show you it. I think it looks fab, so I wanted to show you that quickly. And also just an update on my cow shed interior. So I have sent the shell back and I did have a little look on the website and it was completely my fault, um, as I knew it was anyway. Um, but it actually is written on there, large shell. So I don't know what I was reading thinking that it was gonna be small, but never mind. So that has gone back. It is beautiful, but just it's just too big for my home, unfortunately. If I had a bigger house, it would, oh, I do love it, but it's just not gonna work. So that has gone back. Um, we measured out the um, lamp for the bedside table. So we masked out kind of the size of the bedside table and popped the lamp on it to see if it'd be too big. I think it's gonna look great. So that is definitely being kept. I can't wait for the furniture to arrive now so that I can style it all up and put it on and it just, oh, it's gonna look so nice. Um, and yes, what else did I order? Oh, the artichoke. So that is now on my kitchen window ledge and it looks lovely there next to my beautiful arena flowers. I have got a subscription coming today from arena so I will show you that when it arrives as well. I'm actually going to take the two bouquets so I had the two that I got delivered last week that I did by mistake I should have just got the one but I got two. I mean I'm not upset about it at all um, but I'm going to put them into one vase and kind of just go through and just take away any ones that aren't looking so good and then put them into one vase already for my next lot to arrive today. So I'm gonna spin you around and show you the lampshade and yeah, we'll go from there. I also wanted to have a chat to you about the garden as well today. Um, 
I, it's a really nice garden. It's much bigger, so much bigger than what we had before. Um, it's kind of a bit of an odd shape. So I was going to ask you guys if you had any ideas of what we could do in there. We did get a quote for something. And let's just say it was slightly out of our price range. But I'll talk to you more about that when I take you down to the garden. I'll spin you around now so that you can have a little look at the lampshade. So this is the lampshade in all its glory. I haven't put the light on because I think you can see it better um, with it off. But yeah, I think it looks fab. I really do think that it suits the room and that kind of rustic feel that we're after. And I think it looks really nice against the panelled wall there as well. I think that looks great. So um, yes, I've also got down here the um, cow shed interiors lamp. So those plug sockets will be covered up by the bed, which is why we haven't done anything to them. If you look at the others, we have actually changed them into really beautiful gold ones. But these were going to be covered by the bed and plus we've got an internet cable one there as well and i don't really know if we can change that or should we change that so we've left those white because they're going to be covered up anyway um but yes yeah, so that's how the lamp looks again against the blue i think it looks really lovely so i'm really pleased with that purchase most definitely okay right let's take you downstairs and i will show you the garden okay so this is the garden guys um it's a little bit wet out there I'm not actually i will i've got my slippers on i'm all good so this is our garden so if you see what i mean it's a little bit of a weird shape it's got kind of a hill right in the middle of it um but we we so we had a quote to have done basically um the wall that they kind of started and just stopped for whatever reason um would go all the way around and to the back of the hill and then it will be filled in so that the um the this kind of bit is all one um, height and then we we're going to have some steps going up through onto it as well and then the rest of it was going to be patioed because as you can see we've got a little bit of patio here but the tiniest amount and for some reason they've just kind of stopped here and not decided to go across I'm not really sure why they ran out or or what that is new build houses for you though I guess um, so yes yeah, so we had a quote to get that done and the quote came through um, yesterday I think it was and it was £16,000. I mean I know that you're having a wall and you know you can have steps and stuff and patio but £16,000. I can't get my head around that. I can't see how that is 16 grand's worth of work. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. I really might be because I don't know anything about patioing and landscaping or anything like that. But to me, that just seems like an awful lot of money. And to be quite frank, we haven't got it. So um, yes, we will not be doing that. We are gonna get a few other quotes to have patio put down and see if we can get a cheaper one. Um, but that was just way, way, way out of our price range like so far out of it so um yeah so we are going to get another couple of quotes to see if we can get it cheaper but it'd have to be a hell of a lot cheaper so i don't know we'll see um the other option that jamie's thought of is decking out this area um and doing that we had decking in our old house and i didn't love it i'm not gonna lie but it was old it had like holes in it it was just not very nice really it wasn't treated um and when we moved in it was a state so it never really got any better um so it kind of put me off decking a little bit but then i go into other people's homes and they've got lovely decking so i think that's just me and i've just got to get over it um jamie thinks that he can lay it himself so it should be a hell of a lot cheaper um and actually when jamie does things they pretty much look always look good so i can pretty much trust that it will look lovely so that is another option but if you have any ideas any landscape gardeners that happen to be watching um do please let me know any ideas that you have or if you have a similar shaped garden let me know what you've done i'd love to hear your thoughts on it so that we can just get a few more ideas as to what to do with it because you know who knows how long this lockdown is going to go on for it may well go into summer so it would be quite nice to have a nice garden to spend some time in and even if it doesn't go on till summer it'd be nice to have a garden to have people round that would be lovely so um yeah hit me up with your thoughts guys right i have got my two bunches of beautiful bouquets today um from arena um and this lovely one as well i just can't get over the color of this one i just 
love it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just give them a little bit of fresh water. I've got some more food for them um, to put in the water and yeah, give them a little bit of a juice and then I think probably put them both into one vase so that I've got this vase then free for the next lot that is arriving today. So I'm gonna pop you on a, a time lapse and I will catch you when I'm done. Okay, look at them. Wow, I mean, whew, they are beautiful. I hope that I haven't squashed them in too much. They they all have got room to to bloom, I think. Oh, they're all in bloom anyway, so. Um, but I haven't got enough vases, unfortunately, so otherwise I would have kept them in their separate ones. But um, the colors look incredible together, don't they? They really do. Excuse that, that's my, this is what you were balanced on. Um, when I was um, doing my time lapse there. So you've got a tin and um, Livia's dunks. I love these, these are so nice. And here I've got little sample pots for our next decorating endeavor. So um, yes, keep your eyes peeled for that. So yes, I think they look great. So I'm gonna pop them in the living room there, just on the floor, because again, we haven't got anything to put them on yet. And then um, the new subscription that arrives today can go up on the window ledge. Good morning, everyone. It is now Saturday morning, and we've just popped to our local town, just down the road. Farmer's um, Market Day. To, it's Farmer's Market Day, yeah, exactly. So we couldn't actually get a food shop slot this week, so we thought we'd take advantage of the fact the farmer's market is on and have a little wander around. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with us and yeah, you can see what is there. Jam. Look at it all. <laughs> and it's all done locally. It's all picked and made very locally, about 200 yards away, the lady said. So, yeah, amazing. Lovely. So, you guys, we are just on our way back home from the farmer's market. I've just built it all down. Okay. That's all right, you can lick it off later. Uh, take off. So guys, we are just on our way home from the farmer's market. We picked ourselves up some goodies. I'll show you when we get home. And we've got hot chocolates, haven't we? Super caramel. Oh, it's so good. It's, I think it's probably one of the best hot chocolates I've ever had. What do you reckon? 
So we're back home from the farmer's market and I just thought I'd show you quickly what we got. So we've got a really lovely lunch coming up. This is what we've got for lunch is we've got a sausage roll each. Now I got a lamb and mint one. What one did you get, Jay? Uh, mine's the bigger one. Mine's the, the apple. Oh, the wild that's boar a lamb. And apple. Wild boar and apple. And then what was in your scotch egg? Just a normal scotch egg. A scotch egg. So Jamie's going to have the sausage roll and scotch egg. Scotch egg for lunch and I'm gonna have my sausage roll. And then we've got a pie for dinner, which is a steak and Guinness, or beef and Guinness pie. So yeah, that will be lovely. Um, we also got some chocolate. So I am looking forward to that later. What does it say on the back? Ruby, ru mm -hmm. Ruby raspberry crumble chocolate. Yeah, that looks tasty. So I'm looking forward to that later. We got some Sussex honey, um, that would be nice too, and some jam. So this jam is literally made 200 yards away from where she was selling it, so that was really nice. And she was also telling us about that they, they make woodwork stuff there as well. I don't think I got any footage of that, but um, they had a little extra on the end of a, uh, their stool that had woodwork bits and pieces. And I'm after a um, welly stand to put outside the house, and I've seen some on Etsy, and they're really lovely, but they're quite pricey. And yeah, I was thinking I'd much rather give it back to the local community, so I'm gonna see if they can do us a welly stand which will be lovely so yes we are going to enjoy our lunch and i don't think we're going to do much for the rest of the day um so i think i'm going to leave the video here and i will catch you all in the next one so if you enjoyed it do give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos so this week's pilates workout i believe is going to be either Pilates for osteoporosis or an upper body workout. I can't quite decide which order it's going to go in, but it will be one of those. So check that out as well. That will be coming at you on Sunday and I will see you for another vlog next Wednesday. Take care guys.